Hello, I'm John Britt, and today we're going to show you how to uh, press a multi-piece mold uh, with clay, and we're going to do a skull to show you. So over here I've got some samples of what I'm making. Um, I'm making like a lidded jar today, but you could do a skull cap, incense burner, or any version of that. Okay, so here's our mold. I've, I've sculpted this previously and uh, made a mold of it. And then I have uh, pressed clay into there, and then this is what it'll be like. I have the skull on there, and I'll just pull that off and I can begin to work with that later. Then what I do is I roll out a slab with a rolling pin and I'll make, I made these templates so that I could get approximately the right amount of clay. And um, then I'll press that in here, just like this. And sometimes I'll make it so it rolls on the edge like that. Rolls on the edge. I'll pack it in here real good. And usually I press it against the edge. I'll get another one. This is just kind of a matter of you know smashing it in. And then um, once I get sort of most of it in there take extra clay. Like in this case I'm going to put this on here. This can be a little thicker down here because uh, it's the base. There's a lot of um, texture. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to push this on here. Whoops. Push, I'll take this uh, mold, the stick, and press around like that. Then once I get the other piece, what I do to hold them is I'll put this strap around here. And then the strap will help hold it. And then I can uh, come in and, you know, press against, smash everything together. And then I'll put the face on and put this on top like that and just let that sit for usually I let it sit overnight or so and then that stiffens it up a little bit okay so now we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you how to make the cap what I'll do if I have a thing like this I'll come in and decide where I'm going to cut it and I'll just cut this is where my um, it's going to be a lidded jar so I'll just cut that and then that'll come right off. And then what I'm going to do is come in with a sort of come in with this tool and just clean up any of that I uh, want. And I'm going to try to make this edge ready for the flange, as in this piece I've gotten ready for you. This piece has got a nice, it's kind of neat. And I've rolled out a slab with this pony roller. And then I'm going to set it in here, flange. And then I'm going to take a scoring tool and I'll score that edge. And I'll usually score the edge I'm going to connect. Sometimes I'll put a little extra water on there or slip. And I'll just start laying that in until I get it about right. you got to take, take some time on that. And I'll overlap them usually, cut an angle like that. And then that, that means it'll kind of, it helps it to fit nicely. And then I'm going to come in, uh, make that very neat, and so that it fits right in. And then the uh, end, it'll, it'll just fit real nicely and neatly. And then I make a little handle sort of as a skull right there. And... Uh, other options of this press molding process is going to be, uh, you, you can do like nuts and bolts or other types of bones, um, and then you can assemble it into different uh, sculptures. All right, thank you very much.